Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 9, JavaScript Object Dot Define Property, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the Object Dot Define Property in JavaScript. The Object Dot Define Property method it can also be used to define a new properties with getter and setters on an object. Suppose I'm having an object to that object if I wish to add new property then how can I do that? I can achieve that with the help of define property method which is present in object. So here I have a function employee and I'm having two properties title and name and the values are Mr. and Sam respectively. So in the ninth line I'm trying to create an object of this function employee and the object name is employee with the e smaller case and in the 11th line I am calling the object and I am calling the define property method present in it to that what I am trying to do is I am trying to pass the employee object to this object I am trying to add a new property called full name okay and what is this full name this full name is a function okay so I am adding a new property with the help of getter and setters so in the get what I am trying to do is okay once user calls this full name method okay the full name property what is going to get is is going to get the title as well as the name in the sense we'll get the output if I call uh, employee dot full name I'll get the output as Mr. Sam okay this is what the get is going to do and for if I want to set the value to that property full name how can I do that I can do that with this function I have passing full name as a parameter and this dot title is equal to full name dot split I'll tell you why I'm using this split here and specifying the number also and this dot name is equal to full dot split okay within the braces the empty space and the one so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set the value to this full name property so employee dot full name is equal to Mr. Sam once I do that okay what's gonna happen is your it, this set will be called and it's going to execute this function where it sets the value of tight full name to Mr. Sam okay and why I've used dot this dot split is once it returns okay this dot title okay with the full name we have the complete thing that is Mr. dot Sam okay when I use split dot split and within the brackets I'm giving space it takes okay it takes the complete word after the space so it's going to take the title as mister and full name dot split okay after in the second index what is present is sam and so it's going to take the complete thing so when i when i use alert employee dot full name what is the output i'm going to get is i'm going to get the output as mister sam this is how you can set and get the pr values to the proper new property added using object dot defined property so let me show you a demo of this it's very simple let me jump here and here what I'm trying to do is I'll create a function and the function name is student and what I'm trying to do is this dot title Mr. This dot name, okay, this is colon, and this dot sorry, this is equal, and I have to change it here. Sorry for that. And this dot name is equal to Sam. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll create an object of this function. So what I'll do is I need to set I need to add a new property to this student object. So how can I add it with the help of object dot define define property. Here I'll pass the object name to which I'm going to add a new property and the ob property name is full name and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add the getter and setter okay first let me add the get thing so this property full name is a function expression so I'm calling this function 
so here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to return once user tries to get back the full name function expression it has to return the first name as well as the last name so return this dot title this dot name okay and now what I need to do is I need to set in order to set I need to pass a parameter to this full name so here what I need to do is this dot the title I'm going to set it with this full name and I'll use split function as I explained to you why I'm using the split I'm going to tell take the content present in the zeroth index that is it's going to take um, the value what I'm going to set so this dot name is equal to full name dot split one okay now what I'll do is with the semicolon now I'll call that student object I'm attaching that property I'm trying to set the value as observe very carefully I'll going to set it as Mr. Uh, Johnny or oh, let me make it John that looks sweet okay now what I'll do is I'll access that uh, student dot title sorry yes student dot title alert student dot full name here what I'm trying to do is I'm setting the value okay I'm setting the value of for the full name property and I'm in this line I'm trying to get the get back the value what I've stored here so when I do control s okay, I'll go back to the folder where I saved this page and here comes when I double click on that we will get the output as Mr okay we're not getting it why because there is some error okay new student object dot define property so let me inspect and check like what is the error we are getting right now okay we're not getting any error so so what I need to do is student dot full name so oh the thing is I've opened the wrong folder let me go back and here it's present here when I double click on that you can observe okay we will get the output as expected that is Mr. John okay you can observe very carefully we are getting the output as Mr. John okay this is how you can set the property and the values to it very easily with the help of getter and setter things okay that's what we learned in this session like how can we set and get a new property to an object okay with the help of getters and setters and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to my youtube channel Ankh Pro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further reference, refer websites. We're on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.